decaf iced latte from Bread Block here in LA, which is a gluten-free organic bakery. And they have like home homemade, like whipped coconut milk. It just sounded so good. And this is just like hitting the spot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm actually gonna do a makeup that I did the other day. I was going to an event and I did my makeup really quick and I filmed it for TikTok and I love how it turned out. It's super pretty, it's super easy and it's using products that I really like. The only thing that I'm switching out is I'm going to use a new concealer, new to me, concealer and a new, new to me mascara. Um, but the overall base of the look is the same. I'm also just kind of trying some new things, you guys. You know, it's a new year. I'm feeling really inspired. I usually film in the office with the lights and the whole setup. I still have my whole setup here, but I'm in the bathroom now, obviously. So let me know how you like this setup. I kind of like the vibe. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm doing one of those um, Vogue interviews, which we're manifesting. Get ready in my bathroom interview video things. I'm going in with the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. This has to be one of my favorite products from 2022. It goes on a little bit odd because you have serum and then you have these pigment balls suspended in the product. But once it goes on, it, it's such a beautiful product. I'd say light coverage, it's not matte. It's not even really neutral. I'd say like it's dewy. So in comparison to the Kosas, quite similar. It maybe is just a touch less sallow or yellowy. It's a little hard to get the thing in and out. Okay, this concealer looks and feels really nice on the skin. Getting up really close so you can see it. It looks really nice on the skin. It feels really nice. I'd say it's probably like a medium coverage concealer. It's probably in line with the coverage you get from Kosas, maybe a touch less. Less coverage than Ficlo Beauty, less coverage than Rose Ink. Maybe a little bit more coverage than Ilia, but it's about in line with Ilia, I would say. Kind of a baby of the coverage of Kosas and Ilia, um, and a touch less sallow than Kosas. For blush, I'm going in with Westman Atelier Popette. So now I'm gonna use the same brush. Okay, this blush like can feel a little intimidating, but honestly, once you blend it out, it's, it's so freaking pretty. A little goes a long way. You also can use this on your lips, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. Really, really pretty. So I'm gonna let the product on my face just kind of settle in for a minute and then I'll put a little bronzer on. I'm gonna skip powder because I just like don't feel like I need it. I'm going in with the Kosas 10 Second Eye in the shade Simmer, just kind of a champagne color. And you can use a brush, you can use your finger to tap it in. The applicator gets the product on your lids nicely, but I don't think that it's easy to blend with the applicator. So I'm literally just blending out with a fluffy, I'm gonna link my brush video above me because it's going to really help you understand what brushes to use, when to use them, and why. This dries down pretty quickly. I'm gonna go with just one more coat because I want that color to be just a little bit popping more. And I'm actually going to do a little bit on my nose. Just a little bit in the highs of my cheek. Just give myself like the tiniest little highlight with it. I woke up with this like mark on my chin. It's like not a pimple. It's just like, a, it feels like I hit my chin somewhere. I'm like, hmm, let's do a little bronzer. I'm gonna use a little bit of the bronzer with that same brush that I did my eyeshadow with. And I'm just gonna put it in my crease. I'm gonna go in with the Ficlo Beauty Mulberry Eyeliner. This is like a purpley brown, kind of hard to see, purpley brown eyeliner. I'm gonna do my lower lash line. And I'm also gonna do my upper lash line. And I just like the smallest little wing. Lower lash line, upper lash line, and then I'm also gonna do my upper water line. This is subtle, but it adds like just a little bit of more drama to the look. Same thing, so I did my lower lash line already. And all you do is put your pencil in your eye, feel where your water line is and go back and forth. 
my upper lash line with the smallest little wing. And I'm actually going to use, because my pencil's not that sharp, I'm actually going to use just like a flat brush. Bring that line out a little further. Same thing on this side. Dragging that line out, just that wing out, just a touch further. And then just going through and softening. Gorgeous. Did I tell you that I use the Rose Ink Brow Gel? Lastly, we're gonna do lips and mascara. So I'm gonna do the Ficlo Beauty Nude Lip Liner. One of my absolute favorites. Just a tiny bit of the Mara lip balm. And then let's try this Rose Ink Black Mascara. Oh, guys, it has a type of brush I don't like. Plastic spoolie. You guys know I don't like that kind. It just doesn't work as well for my lashes. Okay. This is one of the nicer plastic spoolie type ones. Has a curved side and a more straight side. I don't love this type of mascara for my eyelashes. I don't feel like I get a lot of lift with them with it. Um, if you like this type of mascara, then then you might like this one. Okay, I wanna add just a touch more bronzer and then I think we're golden. Okay guys, that's the look. I hope you like it. I think this looks really pretty. It's natural, it's not too much. It was very simple to do. I really like my first impressions of this concealer. I don't love this mascara for me, but of all of the spoolie ones I've tried, the Ilia one, the Say one, and this one, this one has the nicest brush and this one looks the nicest on my lashes. It's okay from far away, but up close, I don't love how that looks. But I don't think that this is necessarily a bad mascara. It's just that you guys know a big, fat, fluffy, juicy brush is better for my lashes. We're gonna play around with it a little bit more. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.